In this video, I'm going to show you how to take artwork and mock it up in a real life situation all on Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad. In my last video, I designed artwork for my work Christmas dinner. It was place card settings. Now, I could just email this artwork to the client, which is my boss in this particular instance, but I thought I'd go one step further and mock it up how it would look in a real life situation. And in this video, I'm going to show you the steps I took to make this happen. So let's get into it. Here's where we left off in the last video. We've got our artwork set up the right dimensions everything's looking good but just to get final approval and even just to see how it looks because it's in a way it's hard to imagine how it looks at the minute we're going to put it onto an actual placeholder card and there's many places online you can get mock-ups like this Envato Elements is a place where I've signed up and I really enjoy using and Adobe Stock and there's oh, there's, there's many other places, Shutterstock and all, all those places. But if we just come in to Google Chrome again, if you watched the last video, you'll know I went to unsplash.com and typed in brown card and I got this picture of this card really just as a mock-up for the background of how my placeholder cards are going to look. If we scroll on down, and this is completely accidental, I came across this. We've got the exact mock-up we're looking for on Unsplash.com so we don't have to go to Envato or Adobe Stock or anywhere and pay money for something. We can just go into this and actually there's a few different things, you know, if it's if it's maybe not a brown card you're looking for. There's, there's lovely things here that I know that's not quite right but you could superimpose something over that if you're looking for different things. So Unsplash.com comes to my rescue again and again and again. So we'll just click into it and we'll click the original size because I always like working with the best and biggest quality that we can get. We'll just click download and that just takes a few seconds to download. If we come back into Affinity Photo 2, we'll hit back and we'll just bring up our files at the side here. And here we are. And this is the same person. So thank you, Kelly, very much. You're really helping me out here today in these tutorials. So that's what we're looking at. And this looks great. I can just picture my artwork on it. I don't want to have to picture it for too long in my head because we're, we're going to do it. So that's it. Import it into Affinity Photo. We'll go back to our mock-up. And again, when I'm sending this off to print, this layer is going to be hid. That's what we're going to be looking at. The only reason I put in this background card is just so when I'm working with it, I just get a bit more of a sense, a bit more of a feel of how the card's actually going to, going to look. So from here on in, we're just going to hide that because really we're just dealing with the black and white graphics. Uh, when we send off to the printers, this is how it's going to be sent. Or truth be told, I'll probably do many on an A4 page, get it sent off to the printers with crop marks, and they'll cut this out. And we'll, we'll maybe not cover that in this video, but uh, that's my job for another day, as long as this artwork gets approved. So that'll get sent off to the printers, and they'll be printed on to this color card. So we don't want this color we don't want this card shown in the background. And for the, our mock-up purposes, it's, it's, it's the same. We just want the black and white images. So I've simply clicked the marquee tool and I'm just making a selection around all this. It's nice that these grids are the, these guys are here because it just snaps to it and snap and turned on. And if I just click here, come down to pasteboard and copy merge, that will copy everything that is in the marquee tool we'll go back and then end our placehold image we'll hold one finger you can hold one finger and press paste or come to these three dots paste board and then paste either way is grand and there's something i've done wrong here because it's just copying the actual artwork so i'm going to delete that and that's a good teaching point because there's no background here at all. So that's actually a transparent background. So what I need to do is put in a fill layer and I'll deselect this marquee tool first of all. And then we'll go into our layer studio on the right hand side. We've got our invisible layer or hidden layer checked. We'll do a fill layer and it's set to that black color. We'll move it in the color studio just by clicking that white dot. Move it down to white. And now we've got a fill layer and beforehand it was only copying the visible layers. So all these layers was being copied 
and anywhere that was transparent, even though it looked white, it was just cropping down to the top of Christmas. So we'll click our marquee tool. We'll select everything and just by going into the layers. Now this layer is visible. If this was hidden, it would do the same thing. Even though it makes no difference or it doesn't look to make no difference, it's important we've added this fill layer because we're going to get the full dimensions now. So we will copy merged, go back, go back into this project, hold one finger. And here's hoping. There we are. This is looking much, much better. We're going to place it roughly where we want it. And then we're going to go down to the filters studio. We're going to click live filters just in case we want to make changes and then come back to it at a later time if there's just something not quite right. So we'll move across. We don't want blurs. We we'll want distortions and perspective is the very one we want. And it's nice that in Finley Photo it zooms in. It doesn't matter if, if I'll try and get fairly close to the edge. If I really wanted to, I could, I could zoom in. Maybe that's better and get really, really close. And two fingers will move the canvas. And again, we'll just click this point. We'll bring it down here. Two fingers to move up. This should be the last corner. Again, I'm leaving a wee bit of an edge and I'm okay with that because this is just a bit of a mock-up and the only thing about doing a mock-up like this it's not the right measurements of this mock-up this uh if i just hide this this isn't the right size but it's just what we're working with it's it's just a quick mock-up and there's maybe something i'll do shortly which will maybe fix that but i'm happy with that it's white we'll do the same trick as we did in the last project we will click these three dots we will change the blending mode to darken and F by magic. And that is looking really, really nice. Now, the only thing is it does look a wee bit distorted, a wee bit stretched out. And what I think I will do is I'll go back. I will group both these layers. And again, if you have a layer selected, just simply swipe with your finger over gently. And then I'm going to group both these layers by just clicking that group icon. And now, and this is nearly slightly cheating, I'm going to squeeze it down so it roughly looks where I think the artwork should be. I think that looks okay. And then I'm going to crop it down because there's no point having this bit. Again, I'm setting this on for someone to approve. So if I can... I'm kinda, I kind of like that shadow, so... I'll maybe roughly make this bit the same size as that side, very roughly. I'm happy enough with that. We'll click OK. And I think that's a super, super job. I think it's quite a nice wee placeholder image with when everyone comes to my works Christmas dinner, Merry Christmas, Andrew. Merry Christmas, so-and-so. Quite often, when you're dealing with clients, and in this case, it's my boss, but with your, when you're dealing with clients, it's nice to show them this artwork. And let me just deselect that. It's nice to show them this artwork, but it doesn't look that impressive. If we hide this layer and bring this one back, that looks more impressive, and the client will be able to say, yeah, that, that doesn't look bad, but it's only sometimes when you show people what it looks like in a mocked up situation and I've had more time, what you could even do, if this wasn't the right measurements, you could even have this card and put it on a table and take a photo even with your iPhone and that's a bit more work and it would be, it would be more impressive and probably be obviously more time consuming but it's just nice to have a mock up nice to have something visual so someone can look at this and see how it looks and i think that looks really well and hopefully you've enjoyed these two videos and i think that'll do us so there you have it hopefully you enjoyed this video and although you're maybe not doing mock-ups for place setting cards or place setting tables you can still apply these techniques to different circumstances like maybe mocking up posters on a wall or book covers or there's there's lots of other different things and these techniques will transfer through to that and if you learned anything or enjoyed this video please give it a like please subscribe because there's more videos coming out soon and as always thanks for watching hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next video